As far as third-party Switch docks go, there really aren't any smaller than the Genki Covert Dock. Until now, as unbelievable as it sounds, Genki did it again with the Covert Dock Mini, nearly half the size as the original Covert Dock. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I actually won this Covert Dock Mini in a contest over on the YouTube channel. It came from a box. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out that YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, let's check out what's in the box. All right, we've got the Covert Dock Mini right here. Let's take off this little cardboard sleeve that comes with. And then pop this guy open. Oh, so that's nice. Got a little cardboard thing comes out. And it says, please use the included USB-C 3.1 cable with the Genki Covert Dock. Okay, so this must be that cable. So USB-C 3.1 is actually kind of a high-end cable to be giving away with the dock, but I think they want to make sure you're using the right kind of cable for this. Uh, let's see what's, what else is there's a sticker. Oh yeah, cool. It's a little Genki sticker. You can't really even tell from because uh, it's white on a white background, but it's a little Genki sticker. So we're gonna open this up here. And yeah, wow, if you can see it under this camera and uh, <laughs> this camera here, um, it's a little USB-C cable and one is a little 90 degree, probably so you can plug into the switch. So that's really nice. So we got this nice cable, we've got a little <laughs> little instruction manual in a bunch of different languages. I'm sure you don't really need too much instructions, it's pretty straightforward, but I'm glad they do provide something. So I'll put that here, and then that's that's really it, just the, the dock itself, and oh my god, this thing is really small. <laughs> wow, Mini doesn't even begin to describe how small this actually is. If you think about it, the entire Switch dock essentially is in this little thing. To make it as small, they had to get rid of the USB-A port. So you still have a USB-C port to hook it up to your Switch. You still have the HDMI cable to hook up to your TV, but you miss out on that USB-A port, so you can't plug in like a wired controller or really any other USB accessory. And since the USB-C cable is going to be taking up the port on the Switch, you really can't plug in anything else on the Switch at the same time. Kind of sucks, but at the same time, this is really nice and portable. Now, the actual wall plug is collapsible. I'm not sure if that's the same in the regular Covert Dock. It probably is, but that makes it a little bit more portable, makes it a little bit smaller. This is really awesome if you want to take it on the go. You're on vacation, you're in a hotel room, playing your Switch, and you decide, you know what, I want to play this on the TV. Plug this in a nearby outlet. Boom, plug in a couple cables, and you're good to go. Another thing that's great about this dock is that it actually works with more than just the Switch. It is a standard USB-C dock. So let's say, you know, you're traveling again, you're in a hotel room, you're on your, your work laptop, and you're saying to yourself, wow, I wish this had a bigger screen or a second screen that I could use. Well, here you go. Just bring this with you, plug it in nearby, connect your laptop, and you have a second screen that you can be a little bit more productive on. And it's so small that you can just throw it right in any kind of bag. Now, with other third-party docks, they had a separate USB-C port where you'd connect a separate wall plug. And the issue with those was that if you used the wrong wall plug, you might be providing the wrong voltage to your switch, which could damage your hardware. But with the Covert Dock Mini and its older brother, the plug is actually built into the dock. So the issue here is you don't have the option to select the official Nintendo charger to make sure you have the right voltage. The good thing though, is that the Covert Dock Mini and of course it's Bigger Brother 2, are both designed and engineered so that when you plug a switch into this USB-C port, it can detect it and it knows it using a switch so that it provides the proper voltage so that your Switch is safe using either this one or the original Covert Dock. I go a lot more in depth into that issue in this video right here, so if you want to go ahead and watch it, you can click there. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.